Hey everyone, welcome to Encore and today I'm going to show you how to make a holiday brush bouquet. Hey everyone, it's Corin and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm actually going to a holiday party and they told us to bring exchange gifts, you know, fun stuff to do during the holidays. Um, a lot of people call it the elephant trunk exchange gift. But anyway, um, they tell you like there's like a limit, it's like 50 bucks, which is okay. And uh, you just bring something and then you, I guess, pick a number or auction it off. There's so many ways to do, like, exchange gifts for holiday parties. But, you know, where it comes down to, it's just one of those fun things that you do during holiday parties. So I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to bring? And, um, you know, I want to bring something that is unique and something different, something that everyone's going to want and something that's a little bit handmade as well. I guess my friends just expect that from me. <laughs> They'll probably bring something I made, but at the same time, I didn't want to spend a lot of time in it, and I don't want to spend more than what we're supposed to spend. So I thought to go back and recap my Sephora-inspired brush holder. Remember, the, remember this, guys? Um, I did this, oh my gosh, everybody has this now. <laughs> just like, I would watch like some video and I'll see this like in the corner of the screen or somewhere in someone's vanity or whatever and everybody has them now. And basically just to recap, it's just an acrylic box, all right? And then there are these uh, white, kind of clearish white bead uh, vase fillers. And then you just fill that in and then you stick your brushes, all right? Just like that. And uh, it became so popular, I said, okay, well, you know, maybe something to this sort, but a little bit more festive, you know, a little bit more holiday um, kind of themed. And I thought, yay, maybe I should go to my favorite craft store, which I did. I hauled a little bit, and I found some best deals. Sometimes if you just keep your eye open at these stores, you'll find the best deals. So anyway, I'll show you. I got a vase, and it's kind of like a Christmas theme, and these are in clearance for $2. So I bought four of these. I'm going to keep three to make more uh, brush holders, but I'm going to use this one. It's got green, gold, and red stripes and white, and you know, it's just a square box. It's got kind of like these rubber kind of like legs to them, so that it's like non-slip grips. Um, so I thought that was really cool. And then of course I bought some more color fill and I know from my Sephora inspired video you guys are asking what they're called and they're just called color fill and what they are they're just base fillers for like flower arrangements and you can find this at the um, floral section of the craft store. Okay. And if you're in a country where you don't have a Michael, so you can't find these beads, you can also use rice. A lot of people use rice, right? Just regular grain rice. Or what I like are these green mung beans because they're like round, all right? And they're smooth, okay? So it's going to work much like beads, all right? So look into that. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of if you guys are going to do the grains is that you get weevils. Weevils are bugs that like to nest and um, infest grains, you know, whether it's corn, rice, beans, any dried, um, you know, bean kind of uh, stuff, uh, they infest them. So what you want to do is you want to use some bay leaves, all right, and you can get this pretty much at any kind of like a spice department, like a spice store or at the grocery store, you can find these at the uh, spice section. You just need a couple of small leaves, all right? Just dry bay leaves because these, they hate. Weevils hate bay leaves. So you can just like put that into your jar or whatever you're going to use. And I also bought a roll of ribbon for a dollar. These are in the dollar bins and the colors totally match the base. So I thought I'm going to use that. Now, I also have these, like, 
silk leaves that I've been holding on forever in a day. And I used them at um, for a project like years ago, maybe three years ago. And they're just like the, you know, the little pieces, remnants of that. And I've been holding on to it thinking, oh my god, I'm going to use that at some point again. And uh, never have, but I still have them. So now is the best time to use these. All right, so I'm going to use those. And then, of course, I got some more brushes. All right, these pink brushes, they're the pink handled brushes and they're really, really inexpensive. So I got a few more, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so let's begin. So this is really, really easy to assemble, guys. What well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bow out of my ribbon. Take the tape out, all right. And bow making is really, really easy. Um, you just kind of twist and pull. <laughs> so, just going to make a real quick bow here. All right, so you just twist and pull. I don't know how long this is. Hopefully I have enough, maybe. Maybe I just have enough. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, I have more than enough. Okay, and then Okay, and I'm just going to cut. I'm gonna give it like that angled cut. It's prettier. Just like that, and then you can bind it with a piece of wire. I'm just going to use a piece of wire. Just give that a twist. All right, there you go. You have a nice bow. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a bamboo skewer. I'm just going to wrap the wire around that. Okay, next, we simply just open our package of color fill. Simply place that into our base. All right, and then we're just going to decorate that with our leaves. Uh, no, we can use them here. Okay, just like that, and then all there is is put the brushes in. So you just kind of arrange this in a way you want. Just stick it in there. It's kind of like flower arranging. Okay, so you just arrange the brushes just like that. So it looks like a nice bouquet of brushes. Then we're going to add our bow. So I'm just going to break the skewer so that fits in there. All right, that's about good. All right, my bow on a stick. I'm just going to stick that somewhere. Alright, just like so. Alright, and I think everybody's gonna want this gift now, and I spent definitely less than $50, but they don't need to know that, right? <laughs> and it looks like it's $100, $150 right here, and everybody's gonna want it, and hopefully your friends would too, so it's a great holiday 
um, gift for anyone. It can be any occasion. Again, you know, it's a great birthday gift. It's a great graduation gift. Any occasion. And just take it from here on. Okay, and then the best part is all they need to do is take the bow out, take the leaves out, and then they're left with a Sephora-inspired brush holder for their brushes. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.